Oh my god! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sonia, I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I do reaction videos here. I actually don't think I've mentioned this in a video before, but I have added timestamps in the description down below for all these reactions, so if you guys want to skip to the reaction, you can. But for those who actually watch my entire video, I know some of you guys out there do that. Thank you so much, this is irrelevant for you. But just for ease, if you guys want to skip to the reaction straight away, you can. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Motherland Fort Salem Season 3, Episode 9, the second last episode of the season. I didn't understand the gravity and significance of Rael proposing to Scylla until I read the comments and read that Taylor actually advocated for Rael to propose to Scylla with the ring that her mom gave her, her precious ring. And that's something that I thought was just so, so amazing, the attention to detail, the fact that the actors want to contribute to the show, it really shows how much they care about their characters and the show in general, and the fans. Taylor said that witches don't normally propose it's not a tradition that they actually partake in. The union between witches is generally arranged by the military. We saw that a bit in season two. The military maintain interest in powerful bloodlines, so they like to unite those bloodlines to create super soldiers, which makes sense. The interesting thing about the world of Motherland for Salem is that sexuality is not an issue. I'm assuming there's probably like lesbian and gay witches out there who choose to be with one another and probably have to fulfill their duties. The thing about Motherland is like because there's only three seasons we're unable to explore that but what I like about Rael is that her mom married outside of the military. She married a civilian man and had Rael so the fact that Taylor, the fact that Taylor advocated and suggested that Rael propose to Scylla and give her precious ring, the ring her mom gave her to Scylla, was just so... It really is that much more breathtaking. The significance behind that, that proposal, at the time, I was honestly just processing. A part of me was kind of unhappy of how fast-paced their relationship was going. I mean, they're, they're still really young and they still barely know each other, but I do know that they're soulmates. Their relationship in general is just really intense. So it's not crazy for Rael to propose to Scylla because they, they've they just always been on fire. That ship has always been on fire. So that is not surprising to me, but I was a little unhappy with how fast the proposal felt. But at the same time, I looked back at it and while I was editing, I was like, why am I even complaining? This could be the last season. The fact that they're getting married and they're getting this, I, I'm not going to complain. I'm not even going to complain about that. So, I, I just wanted to touch base with that. Where we left off with Motherland Fort Salem, as I said, Rael proposed to Scylla. That was like the most momentous part of the entire episode. They reunited. They reunited after Scylla got captured for a week. I don't think it was actually a week because there's no way. There's no way Rael would have just sat there and waited for a week. There's no way. She would have done something crazy. But anyways, besides that point, Tally traded her sight for a piece of the first song. Tally and Alder ventured into a cave, an ice cave that was like on the verge of collapse. They found the witch that had the first song and she traded her sight for it. The cave collapsed and they lost Alder, but obviously Obviously, I know Alda's not actually dead because she's already like beaten death once, right? There was no body, so she's not dead. She's gonna come back. As well as that, in the lot where we actually left off, Abigail suggested that the unit surrender themselves so the session could be left unharmed because they lost so many lives. Even the army that were going to invade, they lost Lupe, which I'm still like... It was like Penelope all over again, honestly. I just like, what, what is the point of adding Lupe and falling in love with her just for her to die off to get killed? I was so, I was like, what do you mean? You're not dying. And then she died. I understand. I understand why they introduced her because she is like Tally 2.0. So obviously we're gonna like her and she did serve a purpose. She was essentially an example of the horrors of war. So when they lost her, I was just like, that was probably the last straw and it made Abigail really reconsider their position. So she suggested to the unit that they should turn themselves in. Penelope has yet to make an appearance, so she will make an appearance somewhere in the last two episodes. I just 
know it. She's just gonna fuck up their plans. I also don't know where President Wade is. She's like completely gone off the radars. Who knows where she went? But with Nicta's help in the last episode, they're probably gonna find her. Nicta came around with Anacostia and like, okay, I will help you. I'll find Wade. So that's where we left off with Motherland Fort Salem. Let's get into the video. And that's just Scylla. Oh my god, I forgot to mention. With Nicta coming back, right? And Scylla. Are, th what, are they gonna forgive them for the, 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 the atrocities they committed as Brie? They're not just gonna accept her back in, right? I'm really curious to see how they resolve that. To my heart, this was a brave decision. It'll save lives. The occupation had to end. It seemed like this was the only way. Knowing when to withdraw is the hardest decision a leader has to make. I've struggled with it myself. Capri. So it's just another way to take you into custody. Well, it's better than being executed on the spot, I suppose. The media coverage should hold them accountable, at least until you get to DC. I'm doing everything I can to try and locate Wade. Yeah, what the fuck is she? I just wonder where she is this entire time. Why is there blood? Madam President, it's okay. What's going on? There was an accident. Okay. A marshal <clears throat> was driving and then suddenly aged in an instant and lost control of the car. What? Oh, I think one of his marshals must have died. Oh. They're connected. Like all during the biddies. Yeah. <clears throat> Where are we? Have you tried to go for help? No, ma'am. You. We are now completely snowed in. All oh, this, okay. What about food? Uh, well, tell me some good news. You still have one day's firewood left. Oh, okay. Cool. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> please. Anything broken? Um. I don't think so. They had you in a while. Any surprises? No, pretty much the same questions you all got. Petra's plan, Holder's return, and where Rayle was when she disappeared, and then they asked me about the first song. Alder was right. The song must be important if the Tamari are determined to destroy it. And now that she's gone, she's not gone. I don't even have to. She's not God. She's gonna appear and save the day. I'm still being careful not to leave any visible marks, which means they're planning on trotting us out in public at some point. So a trial or a public execution. Oh. I also want a scene where Abigail apologizes to Scylla because just because her ale's back doesn't mean an excuse or her bad behavior towards her. She was being really hostile to Scylla, which I understand, but also that it doesn't excuse what she did. Just because her ale's back, it doesn't mean it just goes away. I hope we get a scene where they can actually have a heart to heart and hash it out and talk about it instead of it kind of just being like completely ignored or forgotten. We were planning on getting married. Wait, 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 okay. Is this the first time she's telling the unit? Oh my god. <gasps> They're still gonna get married! It's fine! We wanted to ask you and Adele to join us. Make it a double wedding. I mean, I ain't been talking about it. Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we were talking about it, but... Yeah, they they did clothes. kind of they did kind of talk about it. They didn't exactly say I want to marry you, but Adil did ask her if she wanted to have kids. So obviously it meant leading to a union. So I mean, it makes sense. Hey, you can't give up hope. We don't even know what you're planning for us. So. Don't lose hope. Oh wait. Put these on. Oh. I guess we're about to find out. We've banned all spectators from the court to make room for the press. Every second of this trial will be televised. It is very important that we control the narrative. Make no mistake. 
we could lose this war. There are still people out there who don't understand the danger that witches pose, and they need to hear every detail of the unit's crimes from the mouths of the witches themselves. Give them enough rope to hang themselves, and we hang them for real. Jesus. But we have to make sure that when we execute them, they aren't seen as martyrs. The country needs to be scared, and we need to tell them exactly what to be scared of. So to be clear, this is not about getting a guilty verdict. That's guaranteed. Your real jury is the American people. Oh, that's time Oh my god, guys. They were in the uniforms! Everybody out. Something that would be amazing is for Penelope to show up. If you're gonna do a Penelope, you're gonna have to do it now. That's not necessary, they can't even do work. Okay. Oh my god. The so called Bellwether Unit has committed a litany of crimes, and the charges against them are almost too numerous to list here. The murder of President Silver's daughter, Penelope. The assassination of former President Kelly Wade. Wade! Aiding and abetting known terrorists. Conspiring with Nick de Batan, the leader of the spree. The destruction of private property in the United States, as well as the session. Penelope! <laughs> she's not getting worse, but, but she's not getting any better. If we reveal too publicly like this, it would likely make things worse for the girls. Hey. Thank you for my costume. It's been two days since I heard from her. Damn it. I still, look, I still don't understand how Wade and the Marshal was able to stay under the radar. Like, yes, they're trapped, but what? What's stopping them from being located magically? Oh, Penelope. So you use this right of proxy to prevent the lawful execution of Nick de Batan. I thought I was doing the right thing. The you was fought there. General Alder to save a terrorist's life, then aided in her escape? No, Nick de wanted to be a martyr. So your was solution was to set her free. I didn't set her free. Did you consider the lives of ordinary Americans you endangered by your actions or the lives of those already lost to the spree? I think about them constantly. How are we to believe you when all of your actions contradict them? All those years. Older. With only these two brutes for company. She talked to the other witch. What did you talk about? And now you're off seeing the sights. Damn, Otto looks like good with the sword there. <laughs> should I sing for you? That, 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 that's a good suggestion. I think I should warn you. This song might bring the mountain down on our heads. Any objections? <laughs> She's asking the soldiers. No. <laughs> All the goosebumps. We do everything we can to prevent casualties. So these crimes you committed, they were on orders. They weren't crimes. I think that's up to the jury to decide. Abigail's doing a better job. Excuse me? Oh, uh, I spoke too soon. Here's the truth. He didn't mention Penelope? Camarina. He poisoned his own daughter and tried to kill President okay. Wade. We had nothing to do with that. Move to strike. Please, if one of us could just speak without 
not being cut off. Yeah, but he's not gonna allow that. Fine. One of you may make a brief statement. Then we will conclude today's hearing. Has Abigail mentioned to the unit that Penelope is alive? Like, has, has she? I don't think she's actually mentioned that to the unit. Has she? You have breath. Okay, Reese, got it. Well, okay. you do. We're done. You have one foot in both walls. It has to be you. I can just tell your story. <sighs> okay. 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 I guess I'll start by saying that Abigail's right. The lying. And Wade's still alive for what it's worth. But it won't matter because we'll be found guilty and this trial will be used to persecute all witches. My mother was military, my father civilian. I didn't want to fight. I despised the military because I knew I would end up dying just like my mother. Fighting to protect people who hated me just for existing. But I said the words. And despite all my expectations, my feelings changed. I know most of you probably didn't grow up around the military or witches, but we are no different than you. We're your daughters. Oh. We're your sons. We're your neighbors. We're your friends. If you think our actions deserve punishment, so be it. But do not let them use this trial to take us back to the burning times. All right, that's enough. Oh. She did well. Unfortunately, you have no proof to back up your accusations. Or the outrageous assertion that former President Wade is still alive. Oh my God, how are they going to find it? today's proceedings, please escort the defendants back to their cell. Did I do anything rash? Hello? Oh, no, it's Wade! Heck yeah! Cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! Colonel Jarrett, arrest them. They're imposters. They can change their faces. This isn't Wade. You don't think it's me, Blanton? <gasps> oh! Yo! He does much more than that. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! She's back! What an entrance. Wow. My fellow citizens, oh. this has been a difficult time for the nation. I missed her. For me. Though I have finally been reinstated as your president. Yes. Let me tell you that I do not yet feel relief. Without the heroic bravery of the people of the Great River. Yep. Yep. I would surely be dead. I pledge they will have greater autonomy moving forward. And Yay. that we will be their strongest ally. I have also exonerated the Bellwether unit <sighs> of all charges against them. I wish I could say the worst is behind us, but we still need to deal with the rot and corruption that has spread throughout our country and beyond. You've no doubt seen the reports of Camarilla-led attacks taking place around the world, okay. including false flag operations and misinformation meant to stir up hatred against witches. But first, we must face our own fractured nation and prepare for the difficult road ahead. The rebuilding and healing are just beginning. But I know that together we will endure and we will be stronger in the end. Heck yeah. Apparently the marshal found out there was a traitor on the council. Just mm -hmm. didn't know who or who they trust. Yeah. They were on their way to the safe house when the accident happened. Oh. The thing and was collecting firewood and the best we never found a Nita. She took off, but I'm sure we haven't seen the last of her, for better or worse. What about her and the rest of the Camarilla? Most of their army scattered, disappeared back into their lives. Hearst and Clara Brandt are both still missing. Oh. Don't worry. Go. So, next week, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are the preparations going? Oh, I'm handling everything. I wouldn't despair everyone whatever bizarre necro ceremony they would have planned. <laughs> They're leaving town for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. and still everything up. will be ready when they return. And where are you two going? Someplace perfect. The lighthouse? Also, Rael's mom. Are we gonna like talk about that at all? Like, is she in my season forever now? Can she not go?
go into their world now? Like, wh what's that about? We haven't really talked about why she can't be with Rael. That's a beautiful song. Deal. That's all it is now. Great. I gave up my sight, which would be really helpful right now, to be a steward of a song that might never be sung. I feel helpless. I don't like it. Tell you. Oh, hey! It's been a while, man! Oh. I guess I'd find you here. I'm glad that you're okay. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Can't believe he's back. We heard you were being held somewhere. Yeah, I was uh, in prison. Why? In subordinations with the Oversight Commanders and uh, interrogated for being an associate of the Bill Mother Unit. I'm sorry about that. It was a badge of honor. I forgot they had a thing in the last season. <laughs> I still feel like a third wheel. The lighthouse! Oh my god, I was not expecting this scene. Can't believe you brought me to your lighthouse. Finally, I'm making you come to <laughs> part one reaction for motherland for salem season three episode nine if you guys enjoyed this reaction please give it a like and subscribe if you guys want to watch part two just click the link in the description below or wait until the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you there